We are way up in the catwalk here above the ice inside XL Center in downtown Hartford, Connecticut. It's another Devils game day presented by Perino Family Chiropractic. I'm Rob Lopolis. The Devils taking on the Wolfpack tonight, 7 o'clock faceoff. They'll be in Springfield on Friday night, and then it's back home Saturday for Teddy Bear Toss. We'll tell you more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Devils in the middle of a losing streak, and I asked Coach Dennehy what they need to do to get out of it. I think it's 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 always more than one thing. Um, you know, I'd say first of all, you've got to cap you've got to capitalize on the opportunities you get. Uh, number two, you got to make it hard for them to to score. Uh, like I said, we've been our own worst enemy. You know, we've made it easy. We've either turned pucks over or, or not uh, stuck with or executed our our defensive zone uh, neutral zone posture and just make, get, giving up odd man rushes. So, number one, it's take advantage of our opportunities. Number two, this is going to sound like a watershed moment, make them work for theirs instead of just giving it to them. If you take a look at the box score and look at the goaltending stats, you might think one thing, but if you've watched the games and according to coach and from what I've seen, it's been a different story. Yeah, you know, you go through the goals and, and you might not like the save percentages, but look where the shots are coming from. And, and like I said, you know, they had a break against, against Hartford. It starts with a, a guy going in alone one on oh. Then it's a three on two. Then it's a power play where we get overplayed and they find a guy back door. And their fourth goal is a two on one. So, you know, we're not putting our goalies in good situations. Right now, the Devils are getting chances, especially early on. Last Friday in Providence, the Devils came out flying the first few shifts of the game, had great chances, breakaways that were stopped, and then the Bruins came back and scored on their first two shots of the game. The following night, it was Saturday here in Hartford, Devils did the same thing, and the Wolfpack scored on their first shot of the game. Yeah, and, and we had the better of the play early in, in both of those games and had some, some great A opportunities, had some great opportunities and didn't score. Uh, you know, when you're on the road, you've got to capitalize on the chances you get. It just so happened that we had the better chances early. And then we don't capitalize and they end up scoring on their first shot both nights. You put yourself behind the eight ball. Uh, a lot of what has gone on defensively, we've done to ourselves. And that's not taking anything away from Hartford. That's not taking anything away from Providence. You know, we've just, an inability to execute, whether it's we're in our 1-1-3 one, one, and our lock guy leaves his guy or we're turning pucks over at the offensive blue line or at the red line. Those are things that, that again, they're good enough to take advantage of, but we've got to clean up on our end. It is a 7 o'clock puck drop tonight, live on U.S. Country 96.9 and 680 AM. WINR, all a part of the Devils Hockey Network online at BinghamToDevils.com, the Devils mobile app, and you can watch the game through AHL TV. The Devils are back home on Saturday night, teddy bear toss night. Get your tickets now for that, and then bring as many teddy bears as you can. Fill up the garbage bags, bring them in, and when the Devils score, throw them on the ice, and we'll donate them to Toys for Tots here right before the holiday season. Also, first 500 fans get a Devils ice scraper courtesy of Mike Colson Insurance, and then live music on the concourse between sections 19 and 20 from 6 to 7. Beer specials as well. We have a ton going on. We hope to see you out here this Saturday for Teddy Bear Toss Night against Utica. That's at 7.05. Get your tickets now 607-722-7367 online at BinghamtonDevils.com or stop by the Devils third floor office. Binghamton then back home on Wednesday night. That'll be against Rochester. Santa's going to be in the house as well. Dunkin' Donuts will be passing out some gift cards too so get there early and then Binghamton back home right after Christmas the 28th and then it's the New Year's Eve game at 6.05 against Syracuse. So a ton coming up for Binghamton but on the road here again in Hartford hoping to end a losing streak. We hope you can tune in tonight. This has been Devil's Game Day presented by Perino Family Chiropractic.